Hey guys, back here with another video and today we're going to take a look at the early 2011 MacBook Pro 13 inch edition and see if it's still worth buying or is it even usable in 2018. We're going to check it out now. So what we have is a 2011 13 inch and first thing you have to realize is this is heavy. We're talking about at least three four pounds and yes i have this protective case this is my personal macbook for a couple years now and it served me pretty well but when i first got it it was used hand and using not the latest it had only four gigs of ram and uh, 500 gigabyte hard drives so what i did was upgraded to 128 gig ssd and also upgrade the ram to eight gigs of ram so it makes the machine really good even though it has the better RAM and better uh, SSD for the booting time it just doesn't run the Mac OS the latest one that I mean it's well but sometimes it has each ball spinning thing and it happens quite often actually this one also comes with the Intel graphic 3000 so gaming on this machine don't really think about it because maybe a couple years ago it'd be fine but the latest software i mean latest game you wouldn't expect a lot from a seven year old machine so anyways let me show you around so this macbook comes with quite a lot of port actually charging ethernet i think this is the camera with yeah for the camera this is uh hdmi the mini hdmi two usb uh, SD card reader, uh, headphone jack, and this is my favorite feature actually. Lot, lot, I think the new MacBook comes with this anyway. So you can see, you click a button here, oh, let me click. it lights up to tell you how many battery percentage is left. And I think this genius is built into the MacBook, so I wish they'd do more of that today, but not anymore. And we have the good old CD player. I'm pretty sure most people don't use CDs anymore because they removed that, I think in the early 2012 MacBooks. I'm not quite sure, but let me get that checked. Let me just do some quick app launches for you. So Map, Mail, Safari, I mean not Safari, Chromebook, let's see, go on YouTube, Apple, GG, Web Flag, Sites here, let them open up. iMovie, for example, oh, iTunes already open. VLC play, watch movie. I mean, setting, as you can tell, it performs really well. See, you can see how smooth it is. Thanks to the eight gig of RAM install, because when it has four gig, it has stutter in these animations, but now it's super fluid. SSD also help, but I don't think it get any more updates since yeah, it's getting old. The MacBook's getting old. I struggle. I like, I want to use this for like my video editing, but I mean, it's a bit slow. So I got, you can see that computer. I use Windows now and I love iMovie, but that is much faster. The latest i5, you know, with a GTX 1050 Ti. I mean, it's great for gaming and it's good for video editing. So I'll review that in the next video but you can tell like browsing the web it works just fine and also this is one of the biggest biggest disappointment most people getting an older macbook is the display um you guys can't see it but it's pretty low resolution this is a 1280 by 800 i mean this is low if you're used to like high resolution tablet and the new MacBooks and all these new phones. Even the 5S has the Retina since the 4S. 4. So, I mean, we've been used to seeing all these beautiful screens and you might not get used to it. And also that the speaker in this, it's really shitty. Let me give you an example. So, listen to this and compare it to my iPhone 5S. 7, 8, and X, all of them have stereo speakers. This one just have the bottom firing speaker, so... The sound might not be as good. So let's take a look. Okay, okay, so I mean it's not that loud, but let me show you. So you can get a comparison. 
Yeah, put it right here. That sense where that's where your speaker is, anyways. Let me skip it. YouTube is good sometimes, but I mean, it's good to have this. I wish they kept it, but what can you tell? And if you're gonna upgrade to so seven or let eight, me pause that again. And then you can tell it went pretty smoothly. And you can hear the 5S has a louder speaker than my MacBook, and that tells you pretty bad. So, well, at least it come with the headphone jack. So, I mean, you could use your headphone. Worry about bass. There's absolutely no bass. <laughs> and if you're buying a 2011 MacBook right now, I would definitely check two things. First, you have to check what kind of upgrade did the person do? Because if you bought the 2011 with stock, with the no SSD, no like four gigs of the stock, I would not pay over 350 uh, Canadian for it because I mean it's not really worth it because you get an SSD and you get your RAM upgrade. You're looking for 500 bucks, and when you're 500 bucks, I would rather look for MacBook Air use, a recent one, or like even the early 2012, 13 better quality i mean not better quality but like a faster processor and it will last you maybe a couple more years this one is pretty much on the last leg as in it might last you a year or two like it's almost like a 5s they're holding on to the latest software but i mean how much longer can they hold on to right i mean yes i would upgrade to ssd the only thing i can do is probably add a bigger ssd but ssd is not gonna be that much more better than the one i have and also Wham, I mean, I don't know how much, I think on paper, there is form says this thing does support up to 16 gigs of RAM. Don't quote me on it, but I think you have to modify something, but I think it does support, even with 16 gig, it's the CPU that won't hold because you can't really upgrade your CPU. And if you do a lot of Photoshop, iMovie, and a CPU intensive, you're gonna want a faster, uh, processor or else it struggles this one doesn't struggle with 1080p but it does import and export takes forever also the fan make sure you clean it because since this is an old macbook you do want to keep it the fan cooling clean as possible with no dust because this didn't get hot really hot not even when gaming like when i'm doing video editing it gets really hot so that's one thing two is the battery life any macbook you buy right now either on the second battery or the third battery when i got this it already says condition replaced soon so i mean you have to open it yourself i mean you can still remove it and change it yourself but i mean i use this on the table all the time so i don't really need it it only lasts two hours battery so these are the two things you're probably gonna must look for when i'm buying a used macbook in this old because it, it, those things pretty much either you have to upgrade or replace because it's just that old. And also, I have a 2008 version of this that has some display problem. It just turned kind of, it flickers with lines and stuff, like white screen of death, I guess people call it. I never had the problem with this for a couple years now, so I'm not sure that's a common thing or it just my unit is defective but yeah and yes this look exactly like the 2008 all the way to 2012 as soon don't quote me on that but they look and feel exact same same weight same size except there's no pro i think it just say macbook back then the one i got at least the first generation uh unit body version of it so it was great oh yeah also the webcam i mean even the new webcam the new MacBooks webcam are pretty trash, so I mean, I don't need to show you. It's terrible in this one as well. So, to end this video, I know this is getting a little bit long. I try to keep my video 10 minutes or less. I just want to tell you about my opinion and is it worth it or not, because I want to just keep it short. So, to end this video, I would say it's worth for you if you don't have a lot of money, like most of us, average Joes. You just want a MacBook, but you can't afford some MacBook that's crazy amount. I mean, the minimum starts at thousand right now in Canada, one thousand one hundred ninety nine for the MacBook Air. So for that, that's even a good deal. But if you're really cheap and you're 
not cheap, but like you, you, you know, on a position where you can't afford a lot of money. So a lot of people doesn't. So I think this is great if you can get it under 400 with SSD and RAM upgrade. And battery, I mean, not necessary. I mean, battery is pretty cheap. You can get it from eBay for 50 bucks. I mean, so anything 400 is great for this MacBook. And if you're just using basic stuff, nothing tax intensive on the CPU and don't plan on any gaming, this is still got one of the best trackpad on the market. So if you're just using this for basic web browsing for your daughter, for your kids, even for yourself, if you're not carrying this around, because this is heavy. So I would recommend this if you're looking for something basic, but if you're looking for editing a video or any other processor intensive, I would skip this one and get a later version, at least 2014 or higher, because that's already four years old, but those could still be relevant and still get keep supporting for another four years probably just like this one did so till next time guys hope this video helped you decide on the macbook 2011 macbook peace out